Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is going to be our daily angelic message. We're just going to pull a card. Take this with you as you go on about your day. You can check out other videos on my channel if you want to get more of a message. Or you can sign up for a reading at angelsouls444.com. That's the standard reading. Or if you want a live reading over Zoom, you can email me at angelsouls444.com. Let's see. What else we got? Make sure you're watching the weekly. <laughs> yeah, because it all ties together. We've got love. Remember this. As this week gets rolling, okay, and things are popping up and, gosh, you're really having to face some aspect of yourselves. Just remember you are surrounded by love, by tapping into the love frequency. That's what's going to guide you through. And that's really what it feels like. It's almost like, um, someone having like a tether in a storm, right? Like they're hanging on step by step and being guided, even though they can't see anything around them. All they see is the storm. All they're experiencing is the storm. This is what is going to carry them through. Now, while they're pointing out that there's a, I guess that's a lily, but I'm thinking of like a lotus flower, right? So that would be the crown chakra opening up strengthening that connection to the divine. So as it's weird, cause it's like, as these things are happening, you're going to start coping with them in a very different way than you had previously. And it's going to be, again, as I was saying in the weekly, being at peace with the lesson, understanding the lesson, and then moving through it. This could also mean that some of you are opening your heart to love. Oh yes. <laughs> but more than anything, it feels like it might even be a uh, support from a very, either unlikely person or someone who, you know, if you've ever been going through a rough situation uh, and someone's trying to be equal, level, and I'm not talking about we have a difference of opinion or we have different styles of doing things and we're disagreeing. In that situation, yeah, you need to be neutral if you're the person they're turning to. I'm talking about when there is a severe abuse of someone and someone tries to remain neutral between you and the abuser, they're in God's hands. That is unacceptable. We need to be helping people who are in need and we know what's going on around the world. We need to bring some love into it. Now that's a big topic. Of course, we want innocent people to be safe, to be fed. But I still stand by my statement, which doesn't sit well with a lot of people. Like when I've said this, like one one on one to people, they've been like a little scrambled in their thinking. When it comes to helping people in the world, what I'm feeling is the answer is not weirdly to pick a side which is what I was saying from the very beginning, because the side you're picking is the side you've been lulled into believing is the right side. And that's not how it goes. I think I explained this. It's sort of like, so there's some energy here and then there's an energy here. It's not like this. This is where we're divided and fighting one another. And we end up fighting one another instead of standing up to the common enemy. We miss the common enemy. It, it flies under the radar. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that makes sense. But anyway, Incorporate that love today and remember that you are loved. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love. Uh, <laughs> take care. Bye-bye.